guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hide specific sections on certain dynamic pages. Let's say you have one database and on some dynamic pages, you wanna display a certain section with specific content and on others, you don't want that to show. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Now, this video will require a little bit of code, but of course, you can always find the code for free on my website. The link to that will be in the description below. The first thing we wanna do is come over to our add button, go down to content manager, and we're gonna add this to our website. For this video, let's go ahead and choose the projects database template. It's gonna add a couple of pages and open up the content manager here for us. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the database and we're gonna come over to the dynamic page or the title page for it. Now, what I wanna do is come all the way down to the bottom and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a strip. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just go ahead and give it a regular gradient like that. And I'm gonna add some text to it real quick. For this one, I'm just gonna type in one and I'm just gonna center it up inside this strip right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this two more times. For this one, we're gonna call it two. And for the bottom one, you probably guessed it, we're gonna name it three. And for now, I'm also just gonna go ahead and change the gradient to a different option. That way it's just easier to see the difference. The next thing we need to do is come over to our content manager come over to manage content and open up our projects database. If we go all the way to the end, what we can do is set up new fields. Let's call this one one, and we can go ahead and set this to a Boolean, which is a true or false field type. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for two. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for three. If you didn't want to create three different field types, what you could do is come over to this plus icon. And for the field type, we can actually call this one a tag. So basically what you could do is create tags. So maybe this one could be one. The second one could be two. The third one could be three. And for the last one, let's just go ahead and add all three just for fun. Now, for the Boolean ones inside the database, we wanna make sure that we have it selected inside the database like this. And just like we did with the tags over here to the right, uh, let's just go ahead and add all three sections to this Rainforest Action Initiative. But I'm not really gonna use the tags method today. Today, we're just gonna be using the one, two, three Boolean method. But the code should be pretty identical. Now that we have this complete, now it's actually time to add a little bit of code. So what we want to do is come over to dev mode and turn this one on. The first thing I want to do is actually name our sections. So I'm going to grab this strip right here. I'm going to come down over here to the ID and I'm just going to name this one one. And I'm also going to go ahead and toggle on the hidden and collapsed feature. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for these other two strips. And when I click off of these strips, you're gonna notice that we kind of have these gray lines striped through them. And this is basically telling us in the editor that on load, these strips or sections are hidden and collapsed. And what we're basically gonna be doing is coding these strips to be showing and expanded when we want them to based on the content inside the database. So now it's actually time to code. We basically have everything that we need in order to get started. So the first thing I want to do is do the dollar sign W and we're gonna call this dynamic data set right here. So it's called dynamic data set. So I'm gonna start typing dynamic data set and you're gonna notice it's gonna automatically assume what we're talking about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter. And then we're gonna do the on ready function. Okay, inside the parentheses, we're gonna add another set of parentheses, but on the outside of the inner parentheses, we're gonna go ahead and add an equal sign, a greater than sign, 
and we're gonna add some curly brackets. So basically what we're doing is creating a function right here. And now it is time to tell the function what to do. But before we do that, we actually need to create a variable. So what I'm gonna do is say let project equal, and we're gonna call the dollar sign W. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and call the dynamic data set again. And we're gonna say get current item. So basically what this is saying is we have a variable called project, which it's pulling the, the current project from the dynamic page. Now what we want to do is set an if else statement. Let's say if project, we'll put in a period. And what we wanna do is actually come over to the content manager, open up the projects database, and we're gonna go all the way down to one right here. And we're gonna open up the properties and look at the field key. So the field key for one is one, should be two for two, and three for three, just like that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is type in one right here. And we're gonna do three equals, and we're gonna type in true. So basically what this is saying is, if the field key one in the project database is true, which for Boolean field types, if it is checked, it is equal to true, then we want something to happen. So let's go ahead and add some curly brackets and tell it what to do. So what we wanna do is get this one section right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do dollar sign W and we're gonna do one and we're gonna do show. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this line and paste it right underneath it. And we're gonna, instead of show, we're gonna do expand. And since this is an if statement, we need an else as well. So basically, if it's true, we want this section to show and expand. Otherwise, or else, we want it to hide. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this text over and paste it in here. But instead of show, we wanna put push and hide. And instead of expand, we wanna put in collapse. Okay, so basically, if section one is toggled on in the database, then it will display on the page. But now what we need to do is actually copy this two more times for sections two and three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste those in. But on the second one, instead of doing one, we're gonna do two. And I'm just gonna type in two everywhere it says one. And then for this bottom one, which would be the third one, we're gonna do three and we're gonna type in three everywhere it says one. So if we go back to the database real quick, what I want to do is actually just rename these project names real quick. If we come over here to this one right here, we're gonna see one is active. So I'm just gonna name the project name active one. For the second one, we're gonna do active two. And for this third one, we're gonna do active three. And for this last one, we have all three active. So I'm gonna do active all. And of course, you don't wanna do this for yourself. I just wanna do this to show you that it's working correctly. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and exit out and I'm gonna press preview. So as you can see right now, we are in active two and as we can see, the only section that we see on this dynamic page is the second section. If we come over to active one, we should only see one. If we come over to three, we should only see three. And then last but not least, if we go to active all, we should see one, two, and three. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving it a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Again, if you would like the code I used in the video, be sure to use the link in the description. But other than that, I wanna thank you all again for watching and have a great day.